Good morning from quarantine. I think I hear my darling mother coming up the stairs. Could it be breakfast? Okay. Thank you, mummy. Mummy's mm, made me porridge today. I think I'll go and eat this in bed. Another beautiful day at Lalande. Thor and Sif are enjoying a lovely walk in the sunshine and they seem largely unaffected by the French lockdown as no one has ever seen them attempt to leave the property anyway. Let's see if we can call Mummy down from her apartment to show us what's happening in the vegetable garden and in the greenhouse. Because I'm looking forward to some nice food coming from there this summer. Hello Mummy! We really need to get you a balcony railing. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well. I was wondering if you could show us what you've been doing in the garden. Yes. As it's such a beautiful day. It's beautiful. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine. I heard you're doing very exciting things in here, so I came to have a look. Mum mom asked me to put the windows here. Excellent. I said to put a little wood on it, then you can slide in. Oh, that's great. It's simple, but just for now. Yes. The door was not getting open. Yes. So now I'm fixing that. But there was uh, a rotten thing. So first I make the construction. Yes. And then I put the stones back. In the oh, that's going to be great to watch well, that. Again, you can see it now, the construction on the, on the left if you walk in. And this is where everything had collapsed. Yes, yes. This one was... Uh, oh gosh, the whole wall was going. This one was very... Uh, I, I, I replaced it. Yes. And now I make the construction and then I put the stones back again. We're so lucky to have spare wood lying around in the house yeah, so you yeah. can get on with things. Yeah, that's true. You have to find, but every, yeah. I can find everything. So Finally, from now on, years yeah. of being a hoarder are paying yeah. off. <laughs> so it won't fall on mummy's head. Yes, it won't fall again. Great. <laughs> it was very dangerous because... It's so dangerous. Oh, everything could fall down here. Oh, this is, this is really good. And now it's, uh, yeah. It's good to see things happening. It's nice to do it. The weather is nice. Tell me what you've done, Mummy. I've, I've worked a bit. Haven't you I? have? What is this? Oh, those are uh, chives. Chives, wonderful. And you've prepared all of the soil. Everything is written on the... Um, oh, you've planted things yes. underneath this plastic. Yes. Larkspar. Good, that's much needed to get through. Striped beetroot. Um, I can't read that. Something turkey. Dend. Ah, oeye uh, yeah, dend. Uh, yeah, dend. Uh, yeah, it's, um... Marigolds. Yes, double ones. Marigolds. Lettuce, Batavia. Another lettuce. Reine de mai. Mitsuna. What's Mitsuna? Oh, it's a Japanese green. Yum. A salad green. Tomatoes, that's the big ones. <laughs> Red salad bowl lettuce. Serfe is my favourite, that's um, chervil. Coriander and curly parsley. And I've got three... Three tomatoes. Three tomatoes on the go. <laughs> oh, mummy, it's wonderful. And, Just lovely. And there is a little... Oh, basil as well. I have used old seeds and I don't know what yes. the germination is going to be like. Anyway, we might have to feed ourselves for a long time, you know. Exactly, we better be prepared. Exactly. It's looking lovely in here, Mummy. Well no, it's untidy because Oh I'm it's lovely. Working. It's absolutely lovely. Here we've got more chives. We never have enough chives. And uh, we've got um, garlic, we've got all sorts of different onions and there as well and shallots and uh... so every stick shows that a row of vegetables has been planted yes wonderful but there is so much to be done you know i can't i, I, I really need well you have an unexpected helper now there is something about us getting help Yes, we are very, very lucky. Uh, it makes me so happy because uh, I'm on my own. And look at it, I can't cope with it, it's too much for me. Of course it is. I'm going to check the basket. 
one never knows. And the basket was bare. Oh well, better luck tomorrow. Just as today was going really well, we've completely lost our internet. And when we lose our internet, it means that we don't have a phone either because we have no mobile reception. So I need to go out. I'll be getting back into the mobile office and going to our neighbor's field, sitting outside it and calling the orange support services to try and get this all resolved. Just before leaving the house, I was told by Nick and Marie that apparently the French government have changed the form that we need to take when we go out. And so I've just printed out lots of the new forms for us. It's become much stricter in France and the fines for uh, not having this form and going out for a different reason are getting very bad. It's 135 euros the first time, but if you're caught three times in one month, the fine goes up to 3,750 euros and up to six months in prison. I have just phoned the Orange Support Services 36 times in a row. 36. Great news from Lala, Nicholas has fixed the internet. It was a really, really weird niche problem and he's worked it out. Well done, Nikki. How celebration is going in here. <laughs> Nicholas isn't happy because he spent about three hours going between the Guardian's house and coming here to fix this. But you did it with the trusty installation guide. <laughs> How's your afternoon been? <laughs> You're a great friend, Nikki. Well, someone sounds happy to have the internet back. What on earth is going on in here? Why are you in bed with a skein of string? Because that is a puzzle. One has to activate one's mind. And I'm going to activate my mind eventually when I finish laughing by sorting this out. I love sorting knotted problems such as you. Wow, really quarantine starting to get to us all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, bye, mummy. Lovely to hear you laughing. It's good to see Mummy so happy to have the internet back. And the thing about Nick is that when he thinks no one's watching, he tends to be a little bit less reserved. Boo! <laughs> Are you happy about fixing the internet? I've been a little bit naughty because I haven't had any wine up until this point, but I was thinking, no, it would be so much nicer with my meals and so much more civilised. So I went down to the cold room and I found a box of red wine. Now it's absolutely massive, but that's not my fault. It's the only one we had and I'll be out of quarantine within a week and then I can share it with everybody else. All I have to do is get in. This is great. Quarantine just levelled up. And I would pour this on video for you, but I can't do that because I can't hold the phone with one hand and <laughs> manage this with the other. What will be behind the door for tonight's dinner? It's always a surprise. Ah, spaghetti, sausages and peas. Excellent. Thank you, Mummy. And there's no need to eat alone, even in quarantine. I have decided to have dinner with mini Michael Petherick tonight. Well, that was delicious. And now it's time for a night on the town. I am going to the theatre because the original theatre company is posting a play tonight. So I'm going to settle down in front of that. It's called The Croft. Earlier in the week, I watched their play The Habit of Art by Alan Bennett. I love Alan Bennett and it was fantastic. I don't know anything about the croft, so it's going to be a big surprise. But it feels really lovely to settle down with a glass of wine in front of a good play. I have a TV that I wheel into place wherever I want it. 
and plug my computer into for things like this. There we go. I will be very well set up there. Perfect, I'm nice and close to the stage. Excellent seats. I just need my glass of wine. I felt I needed to dress for the occasion, but if I'm honest, it's a bit chilly in here. So instead of changing, I just put a necklace and my pearl tiara on. I think that Minnie Michael wants to watch the play with me. Let's put you down here. Cheers, everybody. And if you feel like doing this at home, from the beginning of April, the National Theatre will be streaming one of their plays every Thursday night. To a good lockdown wherever you are in the world. Night from La Land. Oh yeah, we've got the best seats in the house. Let's open the wine. Well, it won't be cold. Oh, I don't care, I need a drink. <laughs> Huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Marquis and Marquis of Lalande, Daniela, Laura de Murray, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Maureen Palmer, Brian Woodward and David Young. And thank you to all of you.